Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here at the Rock Island Auction House taking a look at some of the guns they're going to be selling in their upcoming May of 2017 premiere auction. And what we have here today is a small little Shattuck squeeze pistol. There were a handful of guns of this general sort of style uh, around, and we typically think of these as late 1800s sorts of guns. They're pretty much all rimfire. The, a lot of them were black powder, very small cartridges, and the idea was to be pretty concealable in the hand. Honestly, the result is guns that are pretty darn impractical, because like this one, they typically have no way to aim, they're good only at very, very close range, and they're typically very weak cartridges. Well, this one is a little bit different in that it comes right at the tail end of this uh, trend. Uh, these were actually manufactured starting in 1907 and production ran until 1915. So this is really a right on the cusp of World War I gun. All right, we'll take a closer look because it's just way too small for you to see from back there. Uh, the gist of this guy is that it is a four-barreled pistol. There is a latch up here that allows you to open the, the whole mechanism up. You can then load four cartridges. These were made in three different calibers, 22, 30, and 32 caliber rimfire. Uh, this particular one is 32 caliber. The 30 caliber rimfires are very rare to find. Mostly what you'll find are these large 32s and a slightly smaller 22 caliber version. Um, all of them four barrel though. And they have a rotating firing pin. That doesn't look a whole lot like a firing pin, but you can see that it does protrude just above the surface here. And that's all it took for it to actually detonate rimfire cartridges. And then every time you pull the trigger, which is this large block, that rotates one position. So you don't see it moving here, but it is spring-loaded, and it does go down into the gun until you pull the trigger. And so it just fires in a circle progressively until all four cartridges are spent. There is no ejector or extractor. You would need to use a cleaning rod or something else to pop those cases out. Uh, if they don't stick in the chamber, you could probably get them out pretty easily. If they do stick, you would need a rod of some sort. Now the markings on here, this was the brand name given to this was Unique, and these were sold by C.S. Shattuck. What's kind of funny here is whoever uh, he contracted to make the stamp for these misspelled his own name. Uh, Shattuck is supposed to be spelled with two T's, and is on all of Shattuck's other guns, but not on these. And apparently it just wasn't worth the money uh, to, to have that die remade. So it just went ahead and had them marked with a misspelled name. The patent for this thing was actually filed by Oscar F. Mossberg, or O.F. Mossberg, uh, who would go on to form O.F. Mossberg and Sons Gun Company, which is far better known today than C.S. Shattuck. Uh, Mossberg was an employee of Shattuck for a number of years, manufactured these. In fact, there are apparently some of these that are marked as being made uh, in Chicopee Falls, which is where Mossberg set up his shop. Uh, but the patent was originally licensed to Shattuck. Uh, Mossberg would later refine the concepts in this and turned it into the Mossberg Brownie, which was a slightly post-World War I, uh, again, a four-shot, in that case, 22 rimfire uh, pepper box, I suppose you'd call it although the, the Brownie was a much more traditional pistol with a grip and a normal trigger, as opposed to Shattuck's unique gun here, which certainly is unique. If you don't mind it being a bit on the impractical side and you want something that is as interesting and cool as a 100-year-old squeeze pistol, make sure to take a look at the description text below. Uh, you'll find a link there to Rock Island's catalog page on this particular one, and uh, you can also search their catalog for some other similar sorts of guns in this auction as well. So, thanks for watching.